Hey everybody, I want to show you today about how we use a free motion embroidery foot. This is this foot here is also known as a free motion darning foot. It can be used for stippling, it can be used for darning over a hole that you may have in a pair of pants. There's just so many uses for this foot. Quilters really like this foot for doing free motion quilting or, or also referred to as stippling. If you with practice you can do free motion embroidery, you can get an evaporating pen or a chalk pen and draw a letter onto your garment and then go over it with a satin stitch. Free motion style. We'll show you how to do all those applications in just a minute. Probably the most popular application for doing or using a uh, free motion foot is free motion quilting or free motion stippling. The first thing you want to do, of course, now this foot here is a standard low shank uh, free motion foot. We want to make sure we drop our feed dogs. If you're machine doesn't have the, the ability to drop the feed dogs, you want a cover plate to cover up our feed dogs because we do not want the feed dogs touching our material. We do not want it feeding the fabric. We're going to be the ones moving the fabric or feeding the fabric through the machine when we do free motion. Now another thing we want to make sure of, if you can, put your machine at the highest setting possible as far as speed goes. This model that we're using here has a start stop button so I don't have to use my foot control and I'm going to set the machine on a straight stitch and if I want to draw a pattern here I could or if I'm doing meandering quilting I can do that as well and all I do is hit my start button and then I move my fabric as I'm going along down through here. Just move any which way I want to. The key is to keep moving the fabric. Do not let it sew in one place. It'll take a little bit of practice, but once you get used to it, you'll be a pro in no time. So just continue to feed your fabric through, so on and so forth like, like this. And that's how you do free motion stippling. Now I'm gonna show you how we darn a hole with the free motion foot. Let's say this is my favorite pair of pants. There's nothing like your favorite pair of denim blue jeans but I have worn a hole in it. And one of the beauty parts about owning a sewing machine is these little small jobs where we can you know, extend the life of a garment. All we have to do here, we can darn a hole, darn this hole with the free motion foot. So what I'm gonna do, again, my feed dogs will be dropped. Sometimes, some people like to use a, put a stabilizer underneath. I would recommend doing that. But we have our feed dogs dropped. Now here we want to put the machine on a zigzag stitch. We want to get the zigzag as wide as we possibly can because I want to make sure that I cover the hole that I'm doing. And then we'll lower our presser foot and I'm ready to go. And we'll just go back and forth over this hole sl very slowly making sure I cover everything. The machine's going to tie the stitches off for me you know, underneath as I'm doing the free motion so I won't have to worry about this coming undone. It'll extend the life of my garment. There you go. We could continue to go over that. It does need a little bit more there, but you get the idea that we can continue to go back over, use the stabilizer underneath, and now my favorite pair of pants can continue to be my favorite pair of pants for quite a long time. We could go over this a little bit further, make that uh, look a little bit better on top, and then I've extended the life of the garment. Doing a free motion letter is probably the most advanced technique you'd ever use the free motion foot for. But this is another thing about owning a, a regular sewing machine. You can do these things with practice and you know, get a piece of test material, try these, uh, draw you a letter off with a water soluble pencil or chalk pencil and go over it several times to, you know, to practice. If you do this on your garment and make a mistake, it's really easy with the seam ripper to take these stitches out because we're just doing simple free motion. So set our machine on zigzag. Uh, depending on the type of letter or thread you're working with, you may want the stitch wider or, or, or more narrow for a different look. Again, we have our feed dogs dropped and I've, I've drawn my letter off. So let's try our letter and let's see what happens.
and that's how you do a letter. A little more practice, I'll get better. As we've shown you, the free motion darning foot, it has several applications. I can darn a hole with this. I can do free motion quilting and stippling. I can do free motion embroidery with it. This particular foot is your standard low shank foot, which works on most machines that's on the market. If you have a question, will this foot work with my machine? Don't hesitate to give us a call or drop us an email anytime. This particular foot makes a great addition to your uh, sewing uh, feet attachment set and also makes a great gift. So feel free to give us a call to order or ask any questions.